Welcome back YouTubers, so this has been running really well on the wall, um, it's, I haven't had any issues with it apart from the fundamental issue with the clouding and the, the freezing uh, issue but apart from that it's been really running really well. Now the, the, um, the point of this video is I've already changed out the capacitors, um, the C22, 23 and 24 I think. Um, with the values that they, um, they suggested. So if we come across here, I've taken this off the side, the fan unit. Um, so I'll do it quickly before it gets a bit warm. But you'll see there that I've put in um, those other um, capacitors. That was the easiest way to do it. I'll show you why in a second. Um, I've also um, had a look at the 63 volt capacitors on the input side and they haven't bulged at all, which is good. Um, but obviously we need to replace those as well, so I have a bit of a plan for that. Right, so this is the board. Um, we've obviously got the inputs up here and the output just there. I've got my phone as the light to help out with um, some lighting here. So the capacitors in question are the, oops. Where are we, in focus, there we go. Are the C23, C22, and the C24 that's in there. So I'll just point those out. Those are this one here, this one here, and this one up here. So those three um, capacitors need to be changed out to improve the performance. Now, they're obviously surface mount capacitors, which means that they're very small and a right pain in the butt. Um, to get out and to put in. So what I've done is rather than trying to replace them with um, another set of surface mount ones which I don't have and normally with surface mount you've got to buy them in large quantities um, and I just can't get those from the local uh, electronics store. So what I've done is I've replaced them with um, one of these or so three of these and these are uh, and what I've done is I've put them in a way so that they sit if I bring it back over the picture they sit like this, obviously with the legs cut off, um, and then they bend up. That way, they fit in here nicely. They don't have to be surface mount. Obviously, there's tons of room in here, so we can put any kind of size capacitor in this in this area, and not um, and not be stuck with um, too tight to the fan because the fan units over here. Um, there's some cabling over here, obviously from the screen, but there's still tons of room in this area here. So having those. Um, those slightly bigger capacitors in here, um, non-surface mount, still works really well. So the other thing I need to do obviously is because for my situation with my um, 60 volts on the input from the solar panels, which is 60 volts at MPPT, uh, when it's cold in the morning, the solar panels are obviously before they start um, giving out any current and before the controller can actually lower the voltage and increase the current, they sit really high with the voltages um, and it's normally um, temperature um, dependent. So if it's a quite a cold morning uh, and there's no sun yet but there's just kind of a bit of light and the solar panels will put out their um, open circuit voltage plus, uh, um, plus some more. So normally that's why I'm seeing um, 79 volts up to 80 volts. So these capacitors here um, are the ones that, oh, there we go, these ones here are the ones that need replacing for me. So these ones here are on the output, these are two 100 volt ones which are fine because obviously this the output can already do 100 volts. It's the input that is the problem. So these are, this is a 63 volt one, this one here is a 63 volt. This little red one over here is another capacitor but this one here is um, already 100 volts. So that's okay. So the only ones I need to replace are this one and this one. So that's what I'm going to try and attempt to do. Uh, however, the problem I've got is that it's very hard to find and I couldn't find any 100 volt ones uh, in this size or in this value. So this one here is a thousand at 63 volts, which is, there we go which is um, which is easy to come by. However, the 100 volt version of this is um, the capacitor is massive um, and I, I only can get them in 4,000 um, which is about three or four times the price. This one over here um, is out of focus but anyway you get the point. So I want to replace these two. My idea is to replace the smaller one with these two in series 
which isn't the best but it's the only way um, for me to get a similar value to the current one that's here is to put two in series so that and I can fit two in series in this area I can't really get too much higher in this area because of the way the um, the box is that sits around it so yeah the other issue I've got is replacing this bad boy here with uh, um, the 100 volt version I can't obviously do that either so what I've got is I've got two of these that are if I bring them around these are 2200s at 50 volts my idea is to put two of these in series and then parallel them as well um, to get even more capacity now the look what this one here is is it's pretty much directly across the input so it's 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 pretty much just like this that's how it's wired at the back of the circuit board there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unsolder it from here that's the two um, solder joints there unsolder that and then somehow fit four of these which is pretty much a little bit bigger than this thing somehow in this circuit um, what I was thinking that the only option I've got is because I'm going to be out of room to fit four of these um, things um, is to uns uh, desolder this and then maybe put it outside on the input still um, either way it's, as long as it's on the input then it should be okay and we can at least do some testing that way but this one here I'll be able to fit two of these in here without too much of an issue um, so let's see how that looks I'll do it off camera um, after I've done this part then I will do these um, these three capacitors here after I've plugged it back in and check that it's working before I stuff around with these tiny little ones so yeah two stages and if this works with these capacitors I'll do exactly the same thing with um, the other unit and we'll see if we don't stuff it up so yeah let's uh, I'll bring the camera back once I've had a look right so the other problem I've got with changing out the capacitors um, and this capacitor here to be Pacific that little 63 volt one um, is this is a um, this isn't obviously a single layer circuit board so trying to get the um, the solder to come out of here and then resolder it back in again um, is going to be very very tricky without accidentally um, soldering um, and joining the two joints together um, causing it not to work so what I thought I'd do is rather than desolder it from here um, the safest and, and stuff it up because um, it's obviously a dual layer board is to pull that gently by the way pull it the capacitor off so that the two um, just there the two uh, inner bits of the capacitor are still there and then solder directly to that and that way I don't stuff up the circuit board well rather than desoldering it I thought I might just pull that one off as well which is actually quite good because it's given me a t two nice um, bits of metal to be able to solder the new ones to so that's kind of how it looks without that um, without that capacitor there right so that's kind of how that looks it's gone from one capacitor to two capacitors on an angle uh, I soldered it uh, in the way that I have using that wire um, it just made it so much easier to try and get it in there and just um, using a small bit of wire to, to, to do the link on the positive um, it just worked out to be much easier so I've hot glued that in there so that the whole thing doesn't move and it's still slim enough so that it fits into the case quite nicely and it's not touching anything so um, and those positive is though that positive is quite is still far enough away from that bottom capacitor that it's kind of resting on so the next thing really is to try and figure out how to wire and how to get this capacitor here going so this is the block that I've kind of come up with it's um, two in parallel and then in series so what I need to do is figure out where to put this uh, I was originally thinking that this connected just positive negative positive negative to the input of this however that's not the case it actually looking at the tracks it actually goes through this I don't know what this is I'm guessing it's a diode um, just by the kind of the look of it I haven't looked at the part numbers but actually if you actually can see through here you can see that the tracks on that second pin in fact it shows up pretty well um, the second pin goes through the diode so which is this one here 
so it doesn't actually connect directly to the input it goes to the diode first so I'm going to need to put some wires on there or solder some wires in there and then somewhere somehow fit this somewhere inside the unit I do have a little bit of space here I could put it there I could put it outside the case it'd be nice to actually fit this inside the case uh, the fan would go here and it blows this way so it wouldn't get too much in the way if I was to put it here but I'm going to have to try and figure out how well it fits within the case and of course you've got the LCD screen here as well so I don't know I'm going to have to do some playing and see if I can get this somewhere maybe it'll go better like that I don't know but this is um, this is a bit bigger than that one little capacitor that was there so I'll, I'll see what I can do right so I've put, it all, I've put the case um, surround back on again there's just no way that I could effectively put this anywhere without bending or breaking something or like the only place I can actually put it is there the problem with that is it's just too tight when you put the screen uh, assembly back in so unfortunately the only place I can actually put it that makes some sense would actually be up there so up to the top so it looks something like this unfortunately that's my only option um, unless I put it on the front part of the case but that the problem with doing that is that the uh, the ventilation is just it's going to end up blocking things and the wires are there so the best place to actually put it is there at this stage so maybe I'll attempt to do that right so I'm up to um, putting these capacitors in and desoldering the, the three ones here and as you see I've shrink wrapped and then connected that up and that appears to be and I've also made these a lot bigger in here the holes for the cables right so that's how it looks doesn't look too bad about the same as the other job so now I'll put it back together and put the case on we'll see how it looks uh, the Michael special so given that we have a lack of space inside I've just hot glued it to the top for now and uh, we'll just see if that works so positive negative going through some shrink wrap which I haven't actually shrunk yet but either way um, and it still gives me tons of room I've, I've obviously expanded those um, holes up where the wires go and just hot glue it to the top just to hold it there I haven't turned it on or tested it yet even though I said I kind of would after I put the capacitors in but I thought well to test it it's a bit of a pain so it's easier just to put it all back together again and plug it in and turn it on and see if it works so that's exactly what we're going to do either way it's going to look something like this when it's on the wall and uh, it doesn't look too bad it'd be nice to just shrink wrap the whole um, block of capacitors later on to make it look a little bit prettier but it actually looks a bit uh, looks quite good Same the capacity on the on that and um, yeah so that's kind of how it's look, looking so what I'll do is uh, I'll put it on power wall and plug it into some, sol into some solar and we'll see if it still works fingers crossed